Hey, girl. Hey. What is up, kids? Dorky Dad here. Um, I've been doing a couple reviews per month-ish uh, lately. And this time, to consolidate, I'm going to do a review roundup. So I've got three products that were sent to me for review purposes. And uh, yeah, I'm going to cover all I'm sitting in my kitchen wearing sunglasses, sitting in a camping chair. I just do this every day. Uh, if you're wondering why we're doing all this now and why she's sitting in the kitchen like that, we were going to go out this weekend um, and do something. But it rained literally the entire weekend. So... The rain stopped us. My dog's just plopping down over there. Uh, the rain stopped us, but we turned our kitchen into our own getaway. No, that, that's not. That's not a thing. That's not cool. Anyway, I'm gonna flip the camera around and let my wife tell you all about what she's got. Okay, so these are the Kit King Wayfair sunglasses. These were sent to us because Martin was always complaining about not having sunglasses, and these don't fit his fat head and they fit my normal size head, so I guess I get them. They're pretty cool. They have uh, like a really nice matte finish, and they do stretch a little bit on the side, so if that, you know, is a problem, if you have like a little bit of a bigger head, but not like a gigantic size head like my husband, you know, like medium maybe, not small, not large, maybe medium, they will stretch to fit you. Um, I've worn them a few times. I've worn them to the pool. I've worn them just in the car and they've held up pretty well. They wipe off really easy. They're pretty sturdy. They're not like, I don't know, some sunglasses feel really flimsy. These don't. I, I really enjoy them. I think what my loving wife is trying to say is that... No, I got nothing. She called me a fathead. That, that's all there is. And I do. I have a fathead. They're still really cool sunglasses. Okay, so they came in this white box, and when you open the box, there is the case, and it's a pretty sturdy case. It's soft on the inside, and it just gives you a little card about their information and their Twitter and all that, and their Instagram on here. And it came with, uh, this is a bag you can put them in if you don't want them in the case, I guess. And then a cleaning cloth, which is nice. I haven't used this yet. I used another one I have, but... It is a labeled one with their brand, so that is pretty cool, Kit King. And it's also on the bag, their label. So yeah, it's pretty hefty. And in the spot where my wife was sitting is the Rorema lightweight camping chair. Now I'm gonna put that on the dinner table just to give you a, an idea of scale in case her being small sitting in it didn't already give you an idea. Uh, it says that it's a deep seat comfy chair. I'm actually afraid to test it. Is it comfy? It's pretty comfortable. I actually kind of was afraid to get in and I was like, this looks like a child's chair and I'm definitely not a child size, so I'm going to break this chair. But it held up pretty well. It's pretty sturdy. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was gonna say. Size-wise, it looks like a child's chair. Um, but it does have really cool pockets on the front and side. They're not, it's not like one of those with the armrest or the cup holder thing built in, but it's still really cool to have access to this. Yeah. Um, I like it. I mean, I'm not going to give you like how much I weigh, because that's just going to bunch of friendship. But I'm 5'7", and it, it's pretty like, I mean, I can fit into it just fine being 5'7". So. Yeah, uh, the fact that it is as short as it is kind of threw me for a loop for a minute, but I will take her word for it because I'm not getting in it. But it does come with a bag, a bag which uh, most camping chairs, most camping chairs come with a bag, a carrying case. That's pretty normal. Um... But one thing that sets this one apart is if you don't want to carry the plastic bag around, this orange strap came with the chair. It fits right in this little pocket right here. So if you want to do that, do it that way. Uh, basically, if you don't want to carry this around, you pull the you fold the chair up like you would, and then you wrap this around it, and then it becomes like a leash for the chair. You wrap it around, you got one handle, you unwrap it, you're ready to go. So I gotta say, um, I was, first impressions, I was a little hesitant, but based on my wife's review and actually seeing all the features and everything it comes with, okay. it's really cool. Um, that's the Rorema camping chair. I hope I'm saying that right. There will be a link to all this stuff in the description. And uh, then we have one more thing to review. Dada, come here, puppy. Yeah, 
Jetta is wearing her brand new lavender floral collar that was sent to us by Petastic. And this is amazing. I love it. Um, first of all, they, they recognized our little pupper, our little princess puppy. They recognized her and mm -hmm. got her something. But the buckle style, the buckle... The buckle is a really heavy duty. I mean, it's it's plastic or polymer or whatever, but it feels super heavy duty for what it is. Um, and then one really cool feature about this uh, collar that I have noticed is the inside feels almost like a moisture wicking material. And that's why we've gone from the uh, Minnie Mouse to the Coca-Cola to all the different collars we've used on our pup is because she gets outside and she gets stank and she gets sweaty and wet and it's just not pretty. So. That's a really cool thing about this. We're going to put it to the absolute test, but I wanted to throw this in the review, put a link out there for it. Again, this is from Petastic, and it even has its own separate plastic piece hanging for ID tags, so your ID tags aren't hanging from where you're walking from if you walk with the collar and not a harness. So thank you again to Petastic for sending this out for Jetta. Um, she is going to use it now. And thank you all for watching this Dorky Dad Review Roundup. I know I went through it really quick, but it's been a long day. And I just, I wanted to knock this out because I want to edit another video for the stuff that you actually enjoy watching. The theme park stuff, the vlog stuff. Um, so I'm gonna probably going to have two videos up tonight. Keep an eye out for that. Maybe. No promises. If not, I'm sorry. But thank you for watching. As always, stay dorky.